What's going on, YouTube world? It's the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al, recording live from Paradise. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, the boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. And today is going to be a very fun day. Today we're going to be talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic's always been one of my favorite characters from, I'm going to say 89 and up from the Sega Genesis years, my childhood until my age. And, um... Basically, ooh, my lips are a little dry, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so back to the back to the task at hand. So I got a couple figures of Sonic I'm about to go over. A little small figures and a couple big ones. And Sonic, he's kind of on a, he's like Speedy Gonzalez. I always want to see him a Speedy Gonzalez do like a challenge. Um, how can I say it? Like some type of uh, race. See who's the fastest. I believe Sonic will get him though. So, um, got a couple figures that we're going to go over today. And as a loose one that I had, someone gave this to me as a gift maybe a year, two years ago, I think. A year ago, something I can't remember. Amy. So, Amy's in that category too, but we'll talk about her later. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and talk about the small stuff real quick. Because small stuff don't mean nothing for real. So, I don't really know. Let's talk about Sonic first, because he's the king of everything. All right. So, as you know, on Sega, I remember I had a Sega Game Gear growing up. I wish I still had mask. I think they cost a lot of money online now. Sonic always can get them coins, you know, run. I guess it was the Dr. Robotic was his arch nemesis that you had to fight at the end or some levels and then he escaped. And um <laughs> and I watched the movie. The movie was cute. I'm a big Tika Sumter fan. So I thought the movie was adorable. I think this, I think I got part two on DVD. I can't remember. I got so many DVDs and I'll be forgetting what I'll be buying. Um yes folks I still buy Blu-rays and DVDs because I do. That's a good reason. You'll figure that one day. All right. So with this Sonic figure right here, Jack Pacific makes these uh, action figures. Actually, these are the small ones. So I, I love this. And I was a, I was one of them children growing up where I used to love the toy and the the, the prize in a cereal box. So what this kind of reminds me of, but see, the prize in a cereal box they never really moved. They, they was never moved possible. They was just. In the name of Gadget from uh, Rescue Rangers, Chippendale. <laughs> Shit, that little wrench. But anyways, he comes with a gold coin, this Sonic right here. I think they really did good. He looked uh, like they got him like a... Does Sonic supposed to have a watch right there? I think he's supposed to have a watch because it's like he's looking at time. You know, when you, when you said still, Sonic will look at you and be like, Come on. Come on. Sega Genesis always was known for that. I don't think Super Nintendo characters ever did that. Like Mario... Well, I think Yoshi did something, but who knows. But with this figure right here, they was like $5 at Big Lots. And they do sell them at like um, Walmart for like $10 or something. I don't know. It's just a mix of prices everywhere you go. But um, I do love these figures. I do love this figure. It's very posable to a degree. So I can't wait to add him to the collection. So let's move on to Knuckles. Now, Knuckles is a red enchanada and the last of his tribe. So, he's kind of on Sonic's... He's on, definitely, he's on Sonic's level. I know you can play as him on a couple of games. I watched a cartoon in the 90s when I was, like, in elementary school. And um, Sonic is kind of like... He's like the Mario Brothers of Sega. You know, Mario Brothers is the face of um, uh, Super Nintendo. So, he's been around a long time. I think Mario was around long, like longer than him. So, Knuckles, basically, I used to love to play as Knuckles, because Knuckles, I think Knuckles could be faster than Sonic. I don't know. You never know. But, um, ain't he built funny? <laughs> he comes with an actual, oops, let me drop you, Knuckles. Sorry, brother. So, with Knuckles, he comes with, like, a, a jewel. And he is, he's very posable. I love this about him. They got these big feet, these skinny bodies. What are people built like in real life anyway? 
So he gets, you know, I guess he got to go rubies when he runs real fast instead of Sonic. Sonic got the coins. And I think I showed the, the coin for Sonic. 10, 10. You add them all up, you're going to get like some extra mans. So this um, figure is very well detailed. I like how they got the shoes looking like Legos at the bottom. <laughs> so moving on, moving on. Uh, let's save my favorite for last. We're going to turn them around. So, Mighty must be evil. Mighty's a powerful armadillo, armadillo and a great friend to Knuckles and Ray. Just like his name implies, he's remarkably strong. So, he might not be evil. So, I don't know. He might not be evil. He don't sound like he's evil. But over the years, you notice they come out with a lot of different hedgehogs now. That's what I love. So... They look just like Sonic. All of them look alike, like they brothers and sisters. Okay. So he comes with these little gold rings right here. I guess that's supposed to be his jewel when he runs fast. And he's pretty poseable too. He's not as skinny. He looks like he could be shorter than um, Knuckles and Sonic. Well, probably the same size. This is what he looks like. Don't he look mean? So him and Knuckles are supposed to be good friends. So he might not be evil. Last, but not least for this, for these um, action figures, my favorite is Tails. Oh my God. Tails is an energetic fox and one of Sonic's closest friends. So him and Sonic are really best friends. I used to love playing as Tails, but um, Tails can fly. He's the only one I know that can fly. Everybody else gets run real fast. Oh my gosh, this is a good looking Tails figure. Put in my famous trash bag right over here. And look, his tail spins around. There is Mr. Tails the Fox. Kind of made you of Star Fox a little bit on the 64 back in the day, but a little happier. A little happier to be like in a video game. And look at his tail spins around. That is so neat. Because that's what it really did anyway when he used to just fly. He used to help Sonic out of situations where Sonic was about to jump into like a ditch or something in a video game. He'll just grab him. I'm trying to remember. It's been years since I played Sonic. I got the greatest hit Sega Genesis games on PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 4. I need to play it one day just for old time's sakes. So with this Tails, with all four of these figures right here, and he's here's his jewel. These all look so great. I would recommend these to get these. Get them at Big Lots. They're cheaper at Big Lots to get. And um, basically, um, I give them a 10 out of 10. I love these figures. So moving on. We got the big figures we're going to talk about. Okay. The world's fastest blue hedgehog. Yes, we know that. No need to say no more. So on this right here, he got like a little... Um, I couldn't afford to get all of these... Um, they were ten dollars at Walmart. Really, like eleven, like almost twelve bucks when you go to uh, when you go to the register. Because everything's not the same on them from the shelf. You gotta correct sometimes the cashier. They they taxing the stuff out of stuff. They taxing the stuff out of products now. As a toy collector, I'm kind of backing off from buying toys. But if I really want the toy, I'm gonna get it. It's getting really mighty expensive. So. Here is our our brother Sonic, the big version. He looks different than this one because this one's like light blue. This one's darker blue. But I think this is the movie one. If I'm mistaken, I think it's the movie figure. And um, uh, let's see. This one is very more poseable than the other ones. His leg is actually bent, which is great. And um, Sonic got some big hands and a big old head. Look at him. And there's this little, I don't know what it is. It's a stopper, maybe. 
of coins or something. I don't know, but this is neat. Almost made me of like a little bubble gum machine or something. Or if you want to take like a Instagram picture, a photo, the gypsy wants to read your readings. Your readings. Uh. <laughs> so I do like this figure right here. So I don't know too much about Amy, but Amy must be a female hedgehog and she comes with a hammer. I, um, she's probably, she maybe be a friend of Sonic. I don't know. Girlfriend, maybe. I don't know. But they didn't have, when, I remember when Sonic first came out, they didn't have females in Sonic. They really didn't. They just had him, and then they brought Tails along. Then Knuckles came along. And then a lot of the other hedgehogs came right behind uh, Knuckles. But um, definitely, they're a duo to stop. I guess they wear the same size shoes and they got the same size hands. They're hedgehogs. <laughs> you would think her hands and feet would be a smaller. <laughs> but that's Amy. I don't know too much about her. And um, I can like go online and see if I know anything about her, but it's not that serious. Okay. So that's Amy and Sonic. So next we have Brother Tails again. Tails is an energetic fox. We already know that. We know he's energetic. Yeah, I, we, I, I ain't gonna keep reading to the people. <laughs> All right. Oh Lord. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So with brother Tails. Hope I get them out correctly. He comes with the same thing as Sonic did. I guess it's like a stopwatch or something, maybe. Ooh, tails them fell apart. We'll put you back together, brother. I hope I didn't break them. I may have. Probably broke them. Oh Lord, I didn't expect to do this on my video. Oh wow, did I break him? I may have broke his leg. No, I didn't break it. I think that this is just maybe, probably a defect one so i have to be very careful with him because tails is my favorite got all the hitch you know everybody so there's tails so i think this one was one of the factory rejected ones that they didn't know that they probably just went ahead and let it go down assembly line and it's been so long since i brought this so oh well he can still stand up but tails you know like i said he's a trusty sidekick of sonics and um I don't know. I don't think he can. I don't think his tail's gonna let him stand up straight like the rest of everybody. Let's see. Well. Oh well. Show must go on. So, be careful when you take stuff out of package, cause you'll be clumsy like me. And I didn't mean to do that, honestly. Last but not least, this is a female character I don't know too much about. Her name is Rogue. Um, leader of the Team Dark. She's an evil person, I guess. World-class jewel thief, fashion forward, and part-time government spy. Ooh, she's an Ada Wong, ain't she on Resident Evil? Alrighty. So I guess she's one of um, Sonic's nemesis, possibly. All right. Well, she came out easy. Tails the one that came out difficult. Like, so she comes with some wings. This is Rogue, and um, she comes with actual wings in the back, which I like, almost like a Batgirl a little bit. And they got her a little, well, I guess, a chest area of a heart. Amy don't have that. 
But I guess Amy and her could do that because Amy got that hammer. Like, girl, I'll smack you down. But um, she comes with some little. I don't know what this is. But it's some type of little Pokemon thing. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. It might be a gadget where she uses as her power. I don't know. I never watched really the new cartoon of Sonic. As you can see, they are articulated to these action figures. All of them. Uh, not too much to really say about these figures. I'm a little disappointed in that tails, though. But I guess it's my fault, too. But definitely, let me try to get tails to stand up for one last time. Well, there he go. He can stand up. So, definitely with all these figures, I will give them a 10 out of a 10. I want to get some more Sonic figures because I am a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I have a weakness for Sonic. Even though I haven't played a game in forever. Or any of the new games. But that's alright. That is alright. So, here we have it, folks. The Sonic Hedgehog figures that I made from Jack Pacific. You can buy these at Big Lots, a small one, or at Walmart, or Target. And you can buy the big ones at Walmart. I, I ain't seen them at Target, but I saw the big ones at Walmart for... Yeah, it was $10. $10, like 11 something, some change. So please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Parents and the Toys. Please like, share, and subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. And I just want to thank my new friends for subscribing to my channel. I will never let y'all down. I'm going to always have new products to show. And um, just for believing in me, I'm always going to say that. No people look, like, quick, give another speech at the end. No, I have to because gratitude is gratitude. You have to give it. You have to get it in order to receive the good origins and essence of life, good energy. So, everyone, have a great day. Yeah. <laughs>